let's say you imported some data from some other system and it comes in and it's in all capital letters and the rows go on for thousands of cells. You don't want to retype all of this to get it into lowercase letters. So you can use a lower function. If you go to the formulas bar, you can see the different categories for functions. And we have one called text. So these are all the different things you can do to text. So um, we've got left and right, which keep or remove things on each side of a cell. But you also have a function called lower and upper, and this is going to convert your text to lowercase. So I would just start typing equals lower, and then it wants to know, well, what text do you want me to convert to lowercase? I would select that cell, close the parentheses, hit enter, and now it's all lowercase. If I double click, the fill handle will fill it down. Another text function is maybe you've copied in some kind of employee or student ID and it has a num or a letter, but you don't want that letter anymore. And there's a row of thousands of them, and you don't want to have to go through and get delete all those S's manually. So you can do a function to get rid of that. So we can go up here to the text, and we're going to look for the right function. And we're going to click on this cell, and it says, well, how many characters do you want to extract? So we want one, two, three, four, five. And what that did was return the student ID number without the S. And then if you don't want two columns of these numbers, you could always just copy and paste in just the values. And now I could get rid of these other cells if I don't want them anymore, if this was my spreadsheet. And voila. And there is a function called concatenate. It'll combine. So if I want to combine Janice and Smith, and then I'll put a little space between here, so quotation mark, space, quotation mark. Now concatenate will just combine Janice and Smith. So if you had an entire list of employees or students, you could combine that into one cell, or you could do it last name, comma, first. That's the concatenate. Some other cool functions are the date and time. So you could do one that is now. You just type in equals now, and it's going to tell you the date and time right now. You can also do today equals today. And it's going to give you the date, and you can even use those in other functions. Just know that if you're inserting a function and you don't know exactly how to use that function, that it will try to explain it to you in this box. So you can always try to work through the function. If something is not bolded, that means it's not required.